Hello everyone, this is Meghnad. In this module we talk about method overloading. So we have seen that polymorphism has two types. One is method overloading and the other one is method overriding. So in this module we talk in detail about method overloading. So let's get started. Now I just opened Eclipse IDE. Now this is an example for 36 lecture. So what I'll do is file new Java project. I'll be creating here project 36 and click on next and I want to create module info click on finish and what we used to do here after adding a project we used to add a package it's a new package I'll be writing here my package some example click on finish now to understand method overloading so what I'll do is I'll create a new right click on this new class and I'll create this as my class where I'll have main method. I'll click on this public stat static void main, click on finish. Now, now this package, now this package is having one class, my class, and where we have main method. So main method is where program execution starts. Now what I need to do here, now in this package, in this package, I want to add one more class, mathematics. Now I can write like this class mathematics now now I can write some methods inside it or if I want to write this if I want to make this also public class in this package in the same file I cannot make it public now see here if I make it as public I'm getting an error because in one class file only one class can have as a public class and that should match with your file name and class name now if I want to create another public class in the same package I can do it in a separate file and I can give the name as mathematics now now what I'll do is I'll delete from here let me delete it now what I can do is I can add a new class in this package right click on this package add new class and this time I don't want main method I don't want to select main method because I already have main method in in this class my class I just want to create mathematics class now what I can do here I can give the class name as mathematics and click on finish now you can see here in the same package my package I have one more class mathematics now if someone asks you how many methods you have in this package so you have to tell two because here you have mathematics class and here you have uh, my class so both are present in the same package you can see here so both are present in the same package right now now let's take I'm going to create here methods like I want to add public int add add int a comma int b now I'll write here return a plus b now I'll write one more method public int add I'm writing here int a comma int b comma int c and then I'll write here return a plus b plus c now this is an example of method overloading so you have the same method name here you have two parameters here also you have add here you have three parameters now depending on number of parameters you send when calling the respective method will be called now when you send three parameters when you call method this will be called when you send two parameters this will be called so since you have same method name with different parameters so we call it as method overloading and note that these methods are in the same class mathematics now how do we call this mathematics so I have to go to my main class, main method. Now I can create an object of this. So mathematics obj is equal to new mathematics. And all I have to do is sysvo control space obj dot add. So you can see here it's showing two methods. It's showing two here, add this one and it's showing this add with three parameters. So that is called method overloading. Now what I'll do here, I'll be writing here obj.add, I'll write here 4 comma 5, 5 comma 6. And I'll also call sys for control space obj.add. Now this time let me select three variables, three here, 7 comma 8 comma 9. And now let's run the code. So this will call the first method and this will call the second method with the same method name add. Now let's run this code. Now I can see here I'm getting 11 and 24, it's working. And very important point to note is that for method overloading, definitely the parameters must be different irrespective of the written type. So here I have integer as written type, here I have integer as written type. So irrespective of the written type, 
parameters must be different. So just to give an example for that, what I'll do here is I'll delete this and I'll take some other example to explain you. Let's delete this or let me delete only these two lines. Now just for example purpose, I'll write here public int add and I'll just write here phi comma six a comma b and I don't care about written types int a comma int b. Now I um, now I'll write here return return phi and just hard coding the value phi and this is this is taking two parameters. I'm not using a and b for now because my intention is to show you something. Let's say this now public float add int a comma int b. Now again I'm writing here I'm writing return 5.5f. Now if you see here I have same method name same parameters same method name same parameters and here I'm returning integer and here I'm returning float and this is not an example of method overloading. So remember method overloading means definitely the parameters must be different. Definitely the parameters must be different irrespective of the written type. Return type can be same or different, it doesn't matter. But parameters should be different, then only we call it as method overloading. Now when I move the mouse on this, you can see here, duplicate method add in, in type mathematics. So even though we have written type as different, it's still saying duplicate, duplicate uh, method. Okay, so I hope you are clear. So keep in mind method overloading is within the same class and irrespective of the written type, parameters must be different and that is method overloading. Okay. I hope you are clear. This is also called as static polymorphism, right? So I hope you are clear with method overloading. In the next module, we talk about method overriding. Thank you and see you in the next module.